The Adventures of Spark and Twinkle. Chapter 1. The Unusual Village Once upon a time, in a village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, lived creatures like no other. This village was not home to ordinary folks, but to tiny, colorful fairies. Each fairy had a unique talent, making their world vibrant and full of surprises. Among these fairies were two best friends, Spark and Twinkle. Spark was a bright orange fairy, known for his incredible speed. He could zip around the village, helping everyone with their chores in the blink of an eye. Twinkle, on the other hand, was a gentle blue fairy with a knack for making everyone smile. Her laughter was contagious, and she had a talent for creating the most beautiful melodies with her tiny fun. Chapter 2 The Whispering Woods One sunny morning, Spark and Twinkle decided to explore the Whispering Woods, a mysterious forest on the outskirts of their village. The woods were known for their tall trees and the strange whispers that filled the air whenever the wind blew. Do you hear that, Spark? Twinkle asked, her wings fluttering with excitement. Yes, Twinkle. It's as if the trees are trying to tell us something, Spark replied, intrigued by the soft murmurs around them. As they ventured deeper into the woods, they stumbled upon a small, shimmering pond. The water was crystal clear, reflecting the sunlight like a thousand diamonds. Look at this, Twinkle. I've never seen anything like it, Spark exclaimed. Twinkle dipped her fingers into the cool water, causing ripples to dance across the surface. It's beautiful, Spark, but I wonder why it's here, hidden away in the forest. Chapter 3 The Mysterious Map While they were marveling at the pond, something shiny caught Spark's eye. Hidden among the reeds was a tiny rolled-up scroll. What's this? Spark said as he carefully picked it up and unrolled it. It was a map with strange symbols and markings. Twinkle peered over Spark's shoulder. It looks like a treasure map. Do you think there could be hidden treasure in the forest? Spark's eyes sparkled with excitement. There's only one way to find out. Let's follow the map and see where it leads us. Chapter 4 The First Clue The map led them to an ancient oak tree, its trunk so wide that it would take ten fairies holding hands to circle it. Carved into the bark was the first clue. Seek the rock that glows so bright under the moon's silvery light. We need to find a glowing rock, Twinkle deduced, but we can only see it at night. Let's come back here when the moon is up, Spark suggested. Until then, we can prepare for our adventure. Chapter 5 The Night Adventure As night fell, Spark and Twinkle returned to the oak tree. The moon was full, casting a silvery glow over the forest. They searched high and low, and just as they were about to give up, Twinkle spotted a faint glimmer in the distance. Over there, Spark! she whispered excitedly. They flew towards the glow and found a large rock shimmering under the moonlight. Carved into the rock was the next clue. Through the tunnel of echoes, find the place where the river flows. Chapter 6. The Tunnel of Echoes The map showed a path leading to the Tunnel of Echoes, a place where every sound was amplified. Spark and Twinkle entered the tunnel cautiously, their footsteps echoing loudly around them. This place is eerie, Twinkle said, her voice bouncing off the walls. Stay close to me, Spark reassured her. We're almost through. As they reached the end of the tunnel, they heard the sound of rushing water. Emerging from the tunnel, they found themselves by a river flowing gently through the forest. On the riverbank, they found the next clue. Follow the river to the ancient stone, where secrets are revealed and stories are known. Chapter 7 The Ancient Stone Following the river, Spark and Twinkle came across an ancient stone covered in moss. It was large and round, with mysterious carvings all over it. As they inspected the stone, they noticed a small hidden compartment. 
Inside, they found a tiny key and another clue. Use this key to open the door, where adventures await and tales galore. Chapter 8 The Hidden Door The map led them to a hidden door at the base of a hill. Spark inserted the key into the lock, and with a click, the door swung open, revealing a staircase leading downward. This is it, Twinkle! We're about to discover something amazing, Spark said, his heart pounding with excitement. They descended the staircase and found themselves in a vast underground chamber filled with ancient books, scrolls, and artifacts. Chapter 9 The Secret Library This must be a secret library! Twinkle exclaimed, her eyes wide with wonder. Look at all these books! They must be filled with stories and knowledge! Spark picked up a dusty old book and opened it. These are tales of our ancestors, Twinkle. Their adventures, their discoveries, everything is here. As they explored the library, they found a book that seemed newer than the rest. Inside was a letter addressed to them. Chapter 10 The Letter Dear Spark and Twinkle, the letter began. If you are reading this, it means you have discovered the secret library. This place holds the history of our kind and the wisdom of generations. Use this knowledge wisely and continue the legacy of exploration and friendship. Spark and Twinkle looked at each other, their hearts swelling with pride and a sense of responsibility. We found something truly special, Twinkle, Spark said. We must share this with the village and make sure these stories are never forgotten. Chapter 11 Sharing the Discovery when they returned to the village, Spark and Twinkle gathered all the fairies and told them about their adventure. The village was abuzz with excitement as they shared the tales and knowledge from the secret library. From that day on, Spark and Twinkle became the keepers of the library. They dedicated their lives to exploring new places, discovering new stories, and ensuring that the wisdom of the past was passed on to future generations. Chapter 12 a new adventure. One day, as they were organizing the books, they found a new map. Spark looked at Twinkle with a twinkle in his eye. Ready for another adventure, Twinkle? Always, Spark. Let's see where this one leads us. And so, Spark and Twinkle set off on another journey, knowing that no matter where they went, they would always have each other and the stories of their village to guide them. Chapter 13 the Enigmatic Island The new map led them to an island in the middle of a serene lake. The island was covered in dense foliage, with hidden paths and curious creatures. As they explored, they found another clue etched into a large seashell. Find the tree with the golden leaves, where time weaves and memory cleaves. Chapter 14 the Tree of Golden Leaves After hours of searching, they stumbled upon a magnificent tree with golden leaves that shimmered in the sunlight. At its base, they found a time-worn box. Inside was a compass that pointed in every direction and a note. This compass will guide you to places unknown, where stories are sown and adventures are grown. Chapter 15 The Compass of Adventures with the compass in hand, Spark and Twinkle embarked on a series of incredible journeys. The compass led them to hidden valleys, towering mountains, and underwater caves, each filled with its own unique stories and challenges. Chapter 16 The Crystal Cavern One of their adventures took them to a cavern filled with dazzling crystals. The cavern was said to hold the secret to understanding the language of the forest creatures. After solving a series of puzzles, they learned to communicate with animals, opening up a whole new world of friendships and adventures. Chapter 17 The Friendly Dragon In another adventure, the compass led them to a dragon's lair. But this was no ordinary dragon. It was a friendly wise dragon named Blaze, who had been guarding a collection of ancient scrolls. 
Blaze shared stories of old, teaching Spark and Twinkle the importance of bravery and wisdom. Chapter 18 The Festival of Lights Returning to their village, Spark and Twinkle decided to host a festival of lights, celebrating all the stories and knowledge they had gathered. The entire village came alive with laughter, music, and the soft glow of lanterns. Chapter 19 The Wisdom of the Elders During the festival, the village elders shared their own stories and adventures, adding to the rich tapestry of the village's history. Spark and Twinkle listened intently, understanding the value of every tale and the lessons they held. Chapter 20 A Legacy of Adventure As the years passed, Spark and Twinkle became the wise elders of the village, guiding new generations of fairies on their own adventures. They ensured that the spirit of exploration, friendship, and storytelling lived on. Chapter 21 the next chapter. One bright morning, a young fairy named Glimmer approached Spark and Twinkle with a map she had found. Will you help me on my adventure? Glimmer asked, her eyes shining with excitement. Spark and Twinkle smiled, seeing a reflection of their younger selves in Glimmer. Of course, Glimmer. Every adventure starts with a single step, and we're with you all the way, Spark said. And so, a new adventure began with Spark and Twinkle guiding Glimmer through the enchanted forest. The map led them to a series of mysterious landmarks. A grove of ancient talking trees, a sparkling waterfall that granted wishes, and a hidden cave filled with glowing crystals. As they journeyed, Spark and Twinkle shared stories of their own past adventures, teaching Glimmer valuable lessons about courage, friendship, and the magic that exists in every corner of their world. Glimmer proved to be a quick learner, her enthusiasm and curiosity driving her forward. She discovered she had a unique ability to communicate with the forest creatures, who often provided clues and guidance. The trio faced challenges together, from navigating tricky paths to solving riddles left by the forest's old guardians. One evening, as they camped under a blanket of stars, Glimmer looked at Spark and Twinkle, her heart filled with gratitude. I couldn't have asked for better companions, she said softly. Spark wrapped a wing around her. Remember, Glimmer, the true magic lies within you. We're just here to help you discover it. With renewed determination, they continued their journey, the map leading them closer to their final destination, a hidden glade where a legendary treasure was said to lie. As they approached the glade, the air shimmered with anticipation. Glimmer stepped forward, her heart pounding with excitement. She held the map tightly, feeling the weight of her journey and the support of her friends. With a deep breath, she pushed aside the vines concealing the entrance. Inside, the glade was more magnificent than they had imagined. Flowers glowed with an ethereal light, and in the center stood a grand tree with leaves of gold. At its base lay the treasure, not a chest of gold or jewels, but a book filled with ancient wisdom and secrets of the magical world. Glimmer picked up the book, its cover warm to the touch. She knew this knowledge would help her on many future adventures. Spark and Twinkle beamed with pride. This is just the beginning, Glimmer. Your adventures are only limited by your imagination, Twinkle said. And so, with the Book of Wisdom in hand and her mentors by her side, Glimmer's journey continued, her heart filled with the promise of endless possibilities and new chapters yet to be written 